It's been near a year and a half since the Congress in Philadelphia declared us to be free and independent. A cause of much celebration throughout all of America. But in all that time since, have we had any great victories on the battlefield to celebrate? No. 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 Not. And what few we've heard of have been precious and significant, friends. But this word from Saratoga recites an account that our American forces have captured near to 6,000 British and Hessian soldiers! Hi, right, friends! That strutting peacock of the British tyrant, General Johnny Burgoyne, surrendered his sword to General Horatio Gates. Thanks in large part to the efforts of the Virginia Rifle Company, under the command of Colonel Daniel Morgan, and the hero of Saratoga, the man without whom the victory would not have been possible, my friends. I'll tell you what, he's a son of Connecticut, a New Englander by birth. My friends, the hero of Saratoga is General Benedict Arnold! Huzzah! <laughs> friends, you don't have to boo him just because he's a New Englander. <laughs> We all recognize that New Englanders are, are filthy, hypocritical, dangerous, money-grubbing people. But you've got to recognize that Benedict Arnold isn't like all the rest of the New Englanders. He isn't motivated only by lust of, of wealth and power. Benedict Arnold is a credit to what one should hope for from the character of a New Englander, friends. He represents the best they have to offer. And he deserves our thanks and approbation. So I would say let us have some rousing cheers for the Virginia Rifle Company and Colonel Daniel Morgan, but especially for General Benedict Arnold! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray. 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 Now my friends, the Governor of Virginia, His Excellency Patrick Henry, has called for a day of celebration in this great victory. There are to be illuminations and fireworks and an extra ration of rum will be issued to every soldier in Virginia. <laughs> Figures that would elicit a response. <laughs> Friends of greater significance than this military victory, perhaps we will finally see an alliance betwixt us and the French or the Spanish, which we have been so desirous of and for so long, and without which we cannot hope for ultimate victory against the British tyrant. So I would say in anticipation of these alliances, let us have cheers for the several crown heads of Europe, beginning with King Louis of France. <laughs> Friends, I, I, I can tell that, that, that very few, if any of you, have any love whatsoever for the French. I mean, I, I see it in your faces. <laughs> It looks as though many of you men must have fought against them in the last war against the French and the Indians. Friends, it's true the French have been the traditional enemies of the English for, for countless generations. But are we English any longer? No! Need the enemies of the English be our enemies? No! No! Success to American arms! Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. 